multiple input gates and register now let's look at uh, each gates one by one so when I talk about multiple input gate uh, I'm talking about this AND OR, NAND OR, XOR, XNOR, OR PARITY, EVEN PARITY and here uh, AND NAND it's opposite like uh, let's go one by one okay let's take the AND gate and this one has five input let's see how it reacts so I'm gonna copy paste and make it five input okay and get is like multiplication it's like if you multiply all the ones you get the output to be one but if you have any one uh, any which like if you have one zero it's going to change the whole thing zero so it, it, the and get works like that if you just put one zero it's going to turn it off in order to turn on all of them has to be one now let's try that here now you can see the LED is turned off because all of them are zero. It only turns on when all of them are one. If you turn off one one, it's like if you put one zero, it's gonna turn off. It doesn't matter how many zero, but uh, yeah, at least one zero turns off. If all of them one, that's the only situation it turns on. That's AND gate. And then if I look at the OR gate, copy this one. For OR gate, only one need to be one in order to turn on. It can like uh, it's only turn off when all of them are zero. Okay, so if I connect LED to this, now you s see that if I turn one on, uh, if I put one input one, it turns on. Uh, it doesn't matter how many input I put, can put one, but uh, as long as there's one one, it's gonna turn on. Okay, and if I look at the NAND gate, NAND gate is like opposite to the AND gate. So whatever happens here turns on, it's gonna turn off the NAND gate because NAND is like, like let's say the output is on, it's like adding a not to it. So if it's turn on, it's gonna turn off in this situation. So. Uh, if I look at that here okay as I see uh, as I said before AND gate uh, act like multiplication but this one acts opposite to that now you you know that uh, AND gates will be turned off if any of one of them is zero but it one, this one turns on but it, this only turns off when all of them are one okay exactly the opposite of AND gate and NOR gate exactly the opposite of OR gate it only turns on when all of them are zero if there's at least one one it's gonna um, it's gonna turn off okay exactly opposite to the OR gate and XNOR gate exactly opposite to the XOR gate now let's look at the XOR gate XOR gate is like similar to OR gate but only one difference in OR gate, we have to have at least one to one has to be one to turn on. XOR gate also same, but it's only one one. If it's more than one, it's gonna turn off. So here, if I look at the XOR gate here, I add a LED light to this, and um, if one is one, it turns on. But if I have more than one, it turns off. So I cannot have more than one anywhere. Uh, it has to be one one, but it can be anywhere. But only one one. Other than that, it's going to be turns off. Uh, X nor gate exactly opposite to us. Like if you have more than one, it's going to turn on. If you have all of them zero, it's going to turn on. And if you have one one, it's going to turn off. That's the only situation. X nor gate turns off. Okay, exactly opposite of X or gate. Now let's look at the odd parity. Odd parity is like you have to have odd number of ones to turn on. So it can be one, three, five, or seven, like whatever it is, like odd numbers. So here, okay. And uh, as you can see, if I put one one, it turns on. If I put two one, it turns off. If I put three, it turns on. Four it turns off. Five it turns on. So odd numbers. It has to be odd numbers of one. 
even parity it's it has to be even numbers of one if it's one it's going to turn off if it's two it's going to turn on Okay. Now let's look at the event parity. Here, um, currently it's uh, turned on because zero also event number, right? Uh, if it's one one, it's gonna turn off. If it's two one, it's gonna turn on. And three one, it's gonna turn on. Turn off. Four one, it's gonna turn on like that. Okay, these are multiple input gates. Now let's look at the register that is in the memory. You see the. Register right here. Now oh, let's see register how register register is a storage. So if you look at the register currently eight bits, so it means we our input has to be eight bits. Otherwise we will get an error with yellow. This uh, orange wire mean it's not the bits are not same. So I have to change the bits here. So this is eight bits, and then output has to be also eight bits. So I can collect connect LED matrices to that. Uh, here I change the column to be 8 because to match the bits uh, if I and uh, I make the rows to be 1 and I'm going to change this one to be uh, rows and now it made to be 1 input like this okay this only works because of this 8 columns if I put 7 it's gonna uh, incompatible because we need 8 bits so I have to have 8 columns okay now to control this we need a button the button is right here in the input output so I connect the button because without the button there's nothing to pass to this like for example if I turn if I put one here it is stored right here it's not passing this so I had to press the button to move to this place like I put another one here I stored there but it's not passing I had to press the button so it passes here like the you know you can put it like that and press the button it's tr transferred to that so that's how the register works register stores but you need a button that can control the output okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel